Hi, my name is Peter Vogel, and this lesson is a beginner level guitar lesson during which I will pass on some important concepts that could very well change the way you approach guitar playing. These are ideas I pass on to all of my students, and they help everyone learn at a much faster rate. If you're not already at FreeGuitarVideos.com, you can find the tab for this lesson there. You'll also find thousands of videos to help you become the guitar player you always wanted to be. Let's get started. When you press down a string on the guitar, do you really know what's going on? Have you ever thought about what the frets are there for in the first place? Are you trying to press down the string hard enough to hold it against the wood of the guitar neck? If you are, you're pressing down way too hard. When you press down a string, you're only trying to press down hard enough to hold the string down to the fret in front of it. That's this little metal bar right here, that fret right in front of me. That's higher than the wood. The fret is much higher than the wood, so don't try and hold the string down against the wood. Hold it down to what we call the crown of the fret. That means you don't have to press down as hard as you think. If you press down too hard, you're slowing yourself down, fatiguing your fingers, cutting down on the sustain of the note, and possibly changing the pitch. So I want to be on the tip of that finger and only press down hard enough to hold that string against the fret in front of it. Now let's talk about where to place the finger in the fret. The easiest place to get the job done is in the front portion of the fret. In other words, I'm here, if I'm back here, I'm in the back portion of this fret. I want to be up close to the fret in front of my finger. It doesn't require as much pressure to hold the string down there. The middle of the fret, it's more difficult, and the back of the fret is just plain hard. And it's just hard. Our goal is to hold the string down on the crown of the fret with the least amount of pressure and still get a clean note. Okay, to some this will feel like more work than others, but you need to experiment with the amount of pressure just so you can figure out how much pressure it takes to hold that note clean. Is the note buzzing? Especially if I'm back here, if it's buzzing, just slide forward and the same amount of pressure is going to give you a clean note. So when a note is buzzing, try moving forward in the fret if you can. If that doesn't work, make sure no other fingers are hitting the string. Say I'm playing here and I'm muting a string under or above it. We want to make sure we're just pressing down on the string that we're trying to press down on. So if that doesn't solve it, that's when you go, well, maybe I need more pressure. So how can we work on this? Here's one way. Take a simple series of notes. It can be a scale or it can just be one finger playing after the other. It doesn't matter. Try putting your finger down on the string but only hard enough to mute the string. Play those series of notes. Try it on different strings. So that's very little pressure. Now if you press down just a little bit harder, we get a little bit of buzzing going on. So experiment with that, play the same series of notes, find out how much pressure there is to just make it buzz a little bit. Now when you found that, just press down a hair harder, just a smidge harder, and you've got the right amount of pressure. So what you're working on is finding just the right amount of pressure to get you a clean note. Because once again, we want to get a clean note, but using the least amount of pressure possible to do it. That means being towards the front of the frets, tip of the fingers. By the way, you can't be right on top of a fret. See how my first finger's covering up that fret? If you do that, you're going to get a muted sound there too. Got to be just behind it. That's all we have time for in this video. Remember to visit us at FreeGuitarVideos.com and check out all the unique practice ideas and the thousands of free and premium lessons we have waiting for you. My name is Peter Vogel and I will see you again soon.